Sure. If you gave folks a, a, an accurate, detailed picture of life in space, you'd probably bore the boots off them. Uh, science fiction doesn't claim to be an owner's manual for the space shuttle. We're just trying to you know, tell entertaining stories and compete for the customer's beer money. And uh, a certain amount of uh, interest in space on the part of the general populace makes it worthwhile to go into the nuts and bolts some. Uh, and, and quite a few of us in the field have a tendency to get too involved in the nuts and bolts and, and go on about them at great length while the story languishes. So the rule of thumb is tell as little as you can possibly get away with uh, and, and still advance your plot, unless there's something that's just so neat you got to share it. Um, I don't worry too much about the physics. My space world is a psychological landscape. It's, it's the realm of, of myth, of pure storytelling, of uh, you know, separating out various aspects of the human character into like, separate planets and playing with them and playing them one off against the other. It's a, a kind of thought experiment in human society that, uh, that my space world setup allows. Um, other people take like different approaches to their space world. Some take them very seriously and you know start with a very mechanistic approach, and and others are very loose and uh, and go for the literary approach. I think I'm more on the literary side. My my uh, my space drive is a literary device, not an engineering one. And I think it's the business of fiction to take technology and try to tell the truth about how people relate to it. I think there's something fundamentally uninteresting about uh, extrapolative science fiction. I, I mean, so what would it really be like to live in a space station? I, for one, don't care. Uh, what I care about is what, how human relationships might disintegrate in a space station, you know, whether, you know, people unmoored, literally, might become unmoored figuratively and sort of lose... Uh, lose the gravity of their moral being and as, as, as well as the actual gravity.